Okay, everyone, we're back here in that light bulb moment podcast, and this is the episode two. As in, super tagal na ako hindi na kapag upload ni tong podcast na to, and now we have this awesome guest. He's a fellow YouTuber, a fellow um creator, and he is a dancer. This guy is a fellow Middle East kid. This is Charles. On. What's up? What's up? What's up? I right, so thank you so much for having me, O'Neill on Real. Um, this is such an amazing. Um, yo, I'm just so stoked for this podcast. It's the first time I'm ever having this interview. This interview wish podcast with you, yo. With this, I just want to say thank nice. you. I just say, wait, we need to put that in the yeah. Yeah, we're, clap. We're, we're handshaking right now. We're shaking hands. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what's all right, up? let's do this. So first of all. Charles, what is your light bulb moment when you wanted to start your YouTube channel or being a dancer? First, with the YouTube. With YouTube, honestly, um, living here in the Philippines alone, you know, with you, with our parents, with my parents in, the, in um, Saudi Arabia, I was living here alone and my life has been pretty bland. Like, I was looking for a place where I just want a, a reason to get out, get out of bed go to adventures because I was hit with my mental state and my mental state honestly was in an all-time low with I was depressed I was um, I was having anxiety attacks and then I looked into YouTube like FuziTube you know FuziTube is my main inspiration I saw his story I know he has um, depression yeah, as well mental. And I'm like, you know what, if he can do it, I can do it as well, you know. I, I can rise up from this um, challenge of being depressed and look for a way that at the end of the day when I'm editing, when I'm watching my own life, I'm <laughs> proud that I got up from bed. And that's where everything started, you know. Damn, the story is just inspiring. Things just got the real quick. It's real. <laughs> so We're that... just five minutes in or two minutes <laughs> in and Charles just spit out some real truth. Yeah, people. I mean... At the end of the day, you know, it's you're in control. You know, you're in control of what what's, what's going to happen in your life, and that's why I started vlogging because I want to be in control of what's happening on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. So when you live your life with a mindset that hey, you know, I need to make this vlog extraordinary, mm. you have this challenge to make your normal make your day, day yeah. extraordinary. So that's what happened. So, how do you cope up with that now you're still a student, right? You're still doing your school, doing the YouTube stuff. How do you control that? How do you manage both work and play and YouTube? Honestly, right now, sacrifices. Um, I stopped a lot of um, extracurriculars in school that I used to do. Yeah. And honestly, right now, I'm planning on leaving my org. Whoa. You heard it here first. Um, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Commit- Commitment, everybody. Commitment. I, I, you know, because, well, um, you know, the thing is, when you have a dream, yeah. you know, nothing should stop you from having that dream. And you have to keep um, your priorities straight. With my school, I always want to graduate, but, yes, I always yeah. want to graduate, but, you but, know, <laughs> graduate but, first, yeah. Yeah, but, but I also have uh, this mentality that, you know, make it worthwhile mm. you know so that's why when i'm doing youtube i always have to think you should i edit or should i read this yeah, yeah. and um, at the end of the day i'm always editing that's why my grades are okay <laughs> not great but okay, okay. possible you know this yeah. i could really relate a lot to that especially mm-hmm. i just graduated this congratulations this june yeah congratulations i we're, could finally do we're, this we're shaking stuff. hands again yeah <laughs> So having that story with in mind, it's just doing the work at the same time. Yeah, making it worthwhile because you don't want to regret at the end of the day that you haven't started what you want really wanted. Exactly, exactly. And like um, the regret sucks, you know. At the end of it's the, the day, yeah, like it sucks. Like it's what will make you feel like you're you're not good enough mm. or you're. You're worthless. That regret. But the problem is, you know, if you don't do it, you're gonna regret it after. So it always starts with you doing it. You know, just with the famous words of Shia LaBeouf, just do it. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. <laughs> so yeah. So, so let's start with the actual starting of a YouTube channel, especially 
from my own experience, I already made my channel like 2015, but I started doing it like hardcore by 2016. It took me a year to really start something. Mm -hmm. So, what tips could you give the fellow YouTubers on what and how to start an actual channel? Well, this, I, I don't wanna like, I wanna be real on this. Okay. I wanna be real. Don't mind the cringe days, mm. you know? Don't be afraid to be cringy. I think that's what people are afraid of, you know, being cringy. And everyone starts at being cringy, you know? I mean, I mean, don't be afraid to get laughed at, you know? Don't be afraid to, to get your, put yourself out there. Because, at, uh, because, you know, there's a saying, at first they will laugh at you, then when you're famous or when you're successful, they're gonna tell people how they met you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, just um, and always, always um, remember that when you're cringy right now, it it all it always gets better from there. You'll learn yeah. from it. You'll learn from it, and you'll grow from it. So don't be afraid to just put yourself out there. So what was your first video? My first video was what? when I, it's not it's not up there yet. It, it, I, already, it, I deleted it now. <laughs> My first video was when I was um, this was back then, like when I was 11 years old. Oh. I was challenging um, Nigga Higa <laughs> on that video. I was like, yo, you're not allowed to be the Asian YouTuber. I'm Asian. No, we're challenging you. You got the balls to yeah. say that. And then I, after three days, I deleted it because I was like, nope, he's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm can't, like, man. I know, he's like one of the best. Nope. And then I stopped. Then I started my other video. It's called um, we're just doing a rant. Mm. But but I it's so irrelevant that I even I forgot what it is. But the video that gained more traffic was the GMA one, the low budget rant. Low budget rant about that arrow yeah. parody. Yeah, yeah. stupid. Yeah. Ding dong that is. Ding dong that is. Yeah, yeah. That was that was the the domino effect. Yeah. Because of that, because of that gaining traffic, because of that getting engagement, even mm. though it's all hate. Like so many hate. Oh my word, so many hate. Um, I I was like, yo, you know what? I'm getting audience. I was happy True. for the hate. I, I I can call myself a legit YouTuber now because people you are hating me. I, I have haters. <laughs> this is legit. So that's the thing. Um, yeah, that that's my first video. That's crazy. My first legit video. So how did you handle that hate? Right, everyone's having na para sa sa point ko. I had this uh, hater. I don't know why he's doing it, but then again, I'm just imagining it's just a kid mm. saying random shit that doesn't really care about what I'm doing. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm still happy for what I did. So how about you? How did you handle that first hater? <clears throat> you make a YouTube video called Re Reading Mean Comments. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you use haters against them. <laughs> Read their comments and get views. Links down below. You should link. You should link it, O'Neill. Yeah. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> Go make. Yeah, that's that's what I did. That's what Do I did. you still remember yeah. the the worst comment that they said to you? Yeah, the worst comment was um, "Kupal ka, wala kang magawa sa buhay." <laughs> and then I was like, "Yo, that's that's the point of me making this video." Wala akong magawa sa buhay. That's why I'm making this video. Pero para ang stupid lang. Kasi mas tanga siya dahil... To think about it, he is watching somebody exactly. who's bored. Exactly. Makes him worse. Yeah, well, kasi wala siyang magawa sa buhay. Oh my God! We're, 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 sorry, sorry bro. Don't make a YouTube video. Don't. Don't. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, the haters will come. I mean, I, I honestly, I love being hated. Mm. More than being um, appreciated, appreciated by fans. Because when you're hated... You know, walang pressure. There's no pressure mm. that you have to be good or you, or you just have to be yourself because you're already hated. Yeah. But if you're appreciated, there's this pressure about they have this image of you that, oh no, you have to please your fans, you know. But when you're with, with haters, you just don't do, have the pressure. Yeah, you just do whatever you have to do. So it makes you authentic with your content. Yeah. So who inspired you first in doing the YouTube, aside from Fusi? Is, is Fuzi the number one? Yeah, Fuzi is the number one. Uh, with with my vlogging style back then, where I just pick up the camera and just talk. Yeah. That was Fuzi Tube. Fuzi Tube. Yeah. Fuzi Tube, just talking in front of the camera. camera. Um, 
after Fuji Tube, you know, of course, the all time greatest Casey Neistat, Casey Neistat with his cinematography. And then with my energy, where I got mm. this, dude, Logan. 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 I'm a Logan. I'm, a, I'm never going to be a Logan Pauler. I'm just a Logan. Logan, Logan sir. <laughs> <laughs> dude, being so real on your vlog. That's good. It's better. It's I mean, on your podcast. podcast. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's um, how we do it here, people. And then I'm just, you know, the thing is. When you're not feeling well, you just have to push through and mm. be more energetic, you know? And that's what Logan did. And I'm like, yo, if he can do it, I can do it too. I want to be like him and uh, I want to surpass him someday, you know? That's just drive. Can you imagine how fast they grew their channel? Even Jake Paul, they just made that video and they really grew. We have, we have live audiences. Live audience. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Live audience. <laughs> So we're really, we're vlogging this whole podcast to on Trill's phone, I, on Trill's camera. So check that out. Soon, yeah, I'm gonna put in like tidbits. Yeah. On on my my channel youtubecom trills on. You know, if you guys want to subscribe, um, youtubecom trills on. C h e r l z o n. C h e r l z o n. Um, if you wanna sub- if you wanna subscribe. You know, I'm, I'm saying the pod, I'm saying it to the podcast, okay. not on the pe- show. <laughs> <laughs> Such a loser. <laughs> we need we need views, guys. We need views. <laughs> we need views. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, well, so let's talk about your other passion, which is dancing. Yeah. Did you know, guys? What is the name of your other dancing persona? My name is Sherlock. I'm a locker. I'm Sherlock of School of Good Luck, my mentor, Good Luck. And yeah, I am also known as um, Psycho and B-Boy Cross back then when I was a B-Boy. And yeah, that was my name. What's up? So how did you start with that? Did you really went from zero to hero? Because after seeing his videos... You're really gonna be inspired if you want to be a dancer. Oh man, this guy is too sweet. This guy has no, been rubbing me like no, really, I'm, really sweet. This guy, <laughs> I've watched his videos. He's been battling people on his channel, so I wish no, I watched the whole video. Battling before. on dance, I'm not, you know, battling people on like you know, smashing their faces. <laughs> I just <laughs> we wish, we wish. Disclaimer, we're just, disclaimer. We're just YouTubers here, guys. I'm, so. I'm a freaking five five guy. I'm really. <laughs> I don't want to like. No, <laughs> no battles for me. <laughs> Just dance battles, okay? Just a disclaimer. So, <laughs> yeah, and ha- ha- how was it for you being a dancer while doing YouTube? What was the experience? Um, well, being a dancer first started out when I was um, seven years old. You know, mm-hmm. my mom was a dancer. My mom taught me how to dance first. I love you, mother. I've made it. Oomph TV, what's up? And then, <laughs> and then, and then um, my after that, you know, being here in the Philippines, I didn't know about culture. Mm. You know, when, you're, when you say dance, there's a whole culture behind it. Yeah. It's not just doing moves. There's you know? subgenres. Yeah. Or there's sub-groups. history. There's mm. history where this happened. There's people, originators. It's more than just doing one move. One move came from a thousand, um, a thousand moves in practice by a person 20 years ago Damn. or 30 years ago. So I didn't know that. And I was so um, immersed by by that feeling that I'm part of this history, you know, yeah. I'm making history. So um, that's what happened. Um, that's where I started dancing and I started walking at first. Mm. And then um, I saw my persona, you know, Sherlock. And I was like, yo, you know what? Let me just incorporate this with my passion, mm. YouTube. And that's when it started, that when I was dancing in front of the camera, which I never do because I always hate watching myself <laughs> dance. I don't know. It's just when you hear yourself, you're like, yo, who is that? Like when I'm dancing, I'm like, ah, what, what are you doing? You do know? you have that same attitude when hearing your videos? Yeah. Or... Yeah, I do. Why does my voice sound so mm. weird? Oh, <laughs> why do I have a fake accent? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the best video in his channel. <laughs> but for real though, was it not related to this fake accent? Because I grew up also in Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. where in different kinds of people are there Indians, Ara- Arabs, yeah, yeah. Or Filipinos. So I basically have this hybrid type of English. So how about you? What was your what what's the content in that video that you posted? You see, people. 
people have been giving me like crap mm. about my my accent. The thing is like yeah, we, same with you. We grew up. Oh sorry, we grew up in the Middle East. Yeah. But it's not just it's not just people that's Arabs. You know, it's just it's an international country, and you can't speak freaking Tagalog in a <laughs> freaking international country. They wouldn't understand you. Like say kamusta ka, they're gonna be like what. You know, like that's so. So you have to cope up with English, mm. and but but the thing is, with different cultures, you know, they they speak English a different way. Like Indians can speak it like this, and Arabs can be like Bibzi. Yeah. But like, Yani and all that. Mm. But like, for us, like for uh for for Filipinos, yes. they don't have like an accent mm. when it comes to English. It's just English. There's no Filipino yeah. accent. You know. <laughs> well, there is. It can mind a Pakel, you know. Yeah. But like, it's a Pakel English. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But. As, as a Filipino, you know, it's really easy for us to like absorb different yeah. accents, and it just turns into one. And and that's what happened with my my accent right now. <laughs> it's I grew up like this because I'm, I've been talking to a lot of different accents, and it kind of do Goku, Vegeta, fusion, and turn into this. So I may have a fake act. I don't have a fake accent. I have a fusion accent. You heard it here first. Only on Unreal. Subscribe. <laughs> That's how you do it. Even. It's the F accent. It's a fake. It's fusion. Fusion. <laughs> fusion. <laughs> so, so, but wait, were, was your school not a Filipino school exactly? No, I grew up in an international school. International school. Till high school? Yes. Hmm. Till grade 11. Oh. Yes. And then I moved to Ipsa where everybody was Filipino and I was the only one speaking in English. Yeah, it's kind of like the Philippines. <laughs> no split, mga pare. No split. I don't even get that reference. No split, no split. <laughs> so, having that, what was the transition like being here for you from Saudi, uh, from Saudi, right? Yeah. Going here in the Philippines for college. Yep. What was that uh, transition period for you? It was tough, yo. It was mm. really tough. Like the culture. I didn't even know how to ride a jeep. I didn't know even I didn't even know how to say para. Me too. Guys. Para po, para po. You know the struggle. <laughs> you know para po. Oh, and what I hate, what I hate, freaking there's no hot water here in the Philippines. <laughs> no, freaking cold. You know how cold it is. It's like I have to pray like three times before getting in the shower because of the like uh. because of because of the coldness. But then um, LRT is always messed up. MRT is worse. MRT is worse. worse. Exactly. Traffic. Oh my word. But I love the Philippines. You know, I have to say that because I'm Filipino. But I love, <laughs> I love the Philippines. But the transition of your life, it has more freedom. Yeah, that's Philippines right. has more freedom. You know what? Coming here, I grew up not judging Arabs or anything. So I'm, I was born not to be racist. When I got mm. here to the Philippines, I Indian and Bombayan. I check yeah. what Chinese. Yeah. So... I was really shocked to that culture mm-hmm. here in the Philippines. So. Exactly, like here in the Philippines, you know, we're low key racist. <laughs> we're low key. <laughs> we're low key racist. That's the truth. Like we're low key. Like when you see someone, oh yeah, ang itim yan, the bapang gagatan. Oops. Quiet, quiet. Sure. Oh, this guy caught. Okay, okay. We're low key racist, and the thing is, like, um, but the funny thing is, we don't care. You're like, okay, mm. make fun of me? I don't care. We don't take it to heart because maybe yeah. there's no history behind it. There's no discrimination. Just people making fun of people true, true. because they're blacker or darker <laughs> than the other. So, I watched your video about what are your tips for mm. growing your channel. Mm. So, maybe yeah. you could share that to the podcast and give value to other fellow YouTubers in the Philippines. Yeah, um, like I said, um, apart from just start and start doing it, it's more on um, ask yourself, will you watch this video? <laughs> mm. You know, or are you doing it for the sake of uploading or for the sake of putting up your content? You know, there's something called quality content. Mm. You know, that's where we, we, we're proud of what we did. Yeah. That we, we, the ones, the creators, actually share it for the sake of, yo, watch this. Watch this is this. amazing. Not just, yo, watch this and check my channel. Maybe mm. you'll subscribe. You know, there's always this in, um, part called intention. Mm. What is your intention when you upload this video? What is your intention why you're doing this video? And always come back to that. Because sometimes we lost track of who we are. True. And don't lose yourself when you're trying to find yourself. You know? Mm. You know? And that's... And just... um. Keep 
and also the most important thing is take a break sure. it's always I mean daily vloggers they don't know this daily vloggers have editors now they yeah, have other yeah. people editing their videos. That's why it's really easy for them to daily vlog. Except Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat is a monster. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a legend. He's a legend. <laughs> Freaking Randy Orton will actually owe him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really true. Having Doing the daily vlogs, even I can't make it properly. I can mm. edit it. You can video your whole day at an event. But when you actually edit it, then upload it, it's really tough. Yeah, it is. And... Um, it comes down to how you how you want your edit to look like, mm. you know. And also, there's this um, I love this quote by Casey Neistat: "Don't let perfect be in the way of good enough." Mm. Because if you're always striving for perfection, perfect. you know, sometimes you don't end up uploading it. Mm. You know, always put up content that you think maybe is good enough. But bear in mind, good enough doesn't mean bad. Bad, you know, just be good <laughs> and if you're re- if you're like listening to this hi my name is Charles I- I'm all o- I only have 388 subscribers I know that's not exactly a- yeah 388 <laughs> that's plus two um, oh. I- but I'm I'm proud to say I grew that from the ground up mm-hmm. and I didn't use any any other marketing materials to do that except you know plugging it in other, other channel mm-hmm. I hate um, sub for sub you know, striving from zero to three hundred, it takes so much time and effort. But if you're struggling and you're only at thirty and you're only at fifty, keep on going. Cause the more that I saw, the more you you get on the top, yeah. the more it gets easy easier. for people to subscribe. It's what they call the snowball effect. Exactly. Like a snowball starts with something small, mm-hmm. and it's very slow to grow. But once it gets heavier or impacted, it's faster to grow. So. I it you can see from Casey Nice that having his first million took five years or something like that. Then growing it to three million to five million it just took a year. So even Will Dasovich, he started from thirty thousand. Yeah. Twenty sixteen. Like he wasn't ha- having that kind of following mm. like we have today. So if you are just doing YouTube, just for example, money and mm. something exactly. external, exactly, exactly. you'll quit easily. Yeah, exactly, easily. exactly. Uh, like, go back to intention. Like, mm. why, like, like, that's the root cause. Why are you doing YouTube in the first place? Why, people? Ask yourself yeah, why. why. Like, if you're doing it for the fame, I mean, props to you. But, like, for the love of it, then it'll it's go the, far. Yeah. You know, then it'll go far. So, explain what are your contents right now. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm laughing because my content is crazy messed up. <laughs> I have this thing. It's called I upload daily. I, I upload vlogs almost daily. Emphasize on the almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost daily. Then. Almost daily vlogs. I mean, it's it's a daily vlog, but not daily. daily. Almost. <laughs> That should be sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I know, but you know, almost is, sounds better. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, I do low budget rants on trending topics, but I stopped doing that because I didn't want to bring in toxic people to my channel. Mm. I stopped doing that after um, the Tan 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 video of Marlu. Mm. And, ah, yeah, uh, yeah, Because the comments were them attacking uh, Marlu and, um, you mm, know. Okay. And I was like, yo, I did that channel to react. To be um, not genuine. to hate, but to genuine like critic their work. But it brought up like different toxic people and like they're just bashing them. And I'm like, yo, I don't need that. And also for the GMA, they bashed um, me. And I'm like, yo, um, I'm bringing in toxic people to my channel, and I hate that. Mm. I'm always into the positivity, but like I'm, I'm fine with that. But energy. you're sharing your thoughts, which yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Your opinions. So basically, you could also find people who are sharing that same opinion too. Yeah, yeah, but um, that's why. Yeah, I'm, I'm still mm. like on the borderline. Maybe like I won't um, do it as much as mm. before. Like I won't make it as my main channel video. Yeah. Because I'm not a newscaster. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not super. Imp- I don't know the facts. We don't mm. know the facts when we're doing videos. We don't mm. know the facts. But like yeah, that, that's where I'm like, 
um, hesitant to do low budget tracks, but I love it. You know, I love it. Oh my word. Okay, fine. I'm guilty. I love making low budget tracks. I love the negativity. No, I don't love it. But I welcome it. But for you, though, I like it. I yeah, like the it. conversation is amazing. Mm. Oh, you should edit this mishap. You should only edit this. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I'm on my season two for my mm. vlogs. I'm on my season two. I'm gonna put up a highlight reel tomorrow of season one. Nice. I'm gonna try and make quality content for the vlogs, and I also I'm also gonna do unboxing. And of what you heard it here first, oh. you'll see, you'll see, oh. you'll, you'll be surprised. You'll it's be surprised. a tease, people. Yeah, you'll see. I'm gonna do unboxing and also a series called DIY, D I W H Y, because I suck at DIYs. <laughs> so it's a series called DIY. It's fun. Yeah, and I'm just gonna try failing at life and DIYs. So if you and also I go to events I vlog events so if you have any like you know if you want to sponsor me or something share about your Red Bull event oh yeah um, I, cool. I'm a I'm a social media representative of, of Red Bull PH for two weeks and then I didn't <laughs> upload the vlog and then they, they actually dropped they dropped me off <laughs> <laughs> I mean you know youtube.com slash Cheryl Zahn is such an amazing yeah. channel you know I mean youtube.com you slash Cheryl Zahn O'Neal Unreal too O'Neal Unreal after Unreal. watching your movies O'Neal Unreal I'm gonna share those opinions too <laughs> always fun <laughs> <laughs> we oh. hope these people subscribe yeah or, or you know sue us or something okay. <laughs> so where, where were we oh uh, the Red Bull the Red Bull yeah I do events um Dance events, battle events. I do. I, I cover events for fun for my channel, not for the event itself. They're not paying me or anything. But Red Bull took notice of that and actually gave me freebies to like entice me to like do more videos. It's amazing. Red Bull is such an amazing um, corporation. Yo, I'm a super fan of Red Bull. What they do, their movement. Oh my word, Red Bull. I love you. Please bring me back. <laughs> Take me back. I'm a vlog again for you guys. Invite me more. Shout out to Rika Bailon, um, the mm. the social um, brand manager of Red Bull of UE. So yeah, that's what I do. So you know, in line with that, go subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so having that, do you create something for example a brand like Red Bull? Do you just make something for them, and at the same time you wait for them to notice you? Is that uh, is that your technique? To getting brand deals oh um my technique is just first believe in the product mm -hmm. like i love red bull like i said red bull you're amazing um second is uh, my intention while i'm doing it is i'm not doing it to get brand deals i'm doing it for that to showcase yeah. why i like this product you know and then from there on you know they will take notice because mm -hmm. when you're genuine about something that you love people will know like Crush mo nga, right? Nalalaman yeah, yeah. na crush mo siya. So, what more if there's it's like a big corporation? Like, yo, this guy posted videos. And also, use hashtags. Yeah. You will get known it's, by hashtags. It's your magic secret. Use the hashtags for real. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're, we're open for brand deals. We're here. Yeah, we're here. Check it out. So, on your Unreal, give him um, um, VIP seats, premiere seats on all your yeah. Viva films. I think uh, maybe a year from now we'll just look back to this episode and we'll talk about how it all started and yeah for sure this podcast having with this guy yeah. soon yeah this is gonna be we'll a, just be showing commercials or hearing commercials yeah, here. this will be a time capsule <laughs> yo we're gonna go back to this and we're gonna finally say we made it yeah, you know see. future is a blink of an eye like we, we'll, we never know but we promise you we will keep hustling we will keep hustling and we will keep on keeping on and I, I want to share something yeah sure, sure I have this thing for my for the listeners mm. <clears throat> I always say this at the end of my vlogs yeah all it takes is someone to believe and I believe in you and yes. then I end the vlog because I honestly believe that if you believe in someone like sometimes they don't believe in themselves yeah true it's hard to do and it's that's my genuine thing. statement I believe in you so when you're gonna do whatever in your, whatever in your life like a dream or a mission a goal just know the trail's on and maybe O'Neal yeah we believe in you and we know you can do it and we know that you have the capacity to be great true 
And that's why I always end that statement in my vlog because you know what? We do. We do believe in you. And I hope you believe in us by subscribing our videos. <laughs> What's up? What's up? So are we ending it? Yeah, we're ending it, guys. Oh, we're so ending it. We're ending it. We're Wait. ending it. So we're ending the podcast. We're honestly on the podcast right now. And the podcast, I'm on, I'm on my vlog. Yes. So we're ending it. it, it I just want to give a plug. This has been such a real podcast. Like, when I say real... No, we didn't. We didn't hold back. We have no fan base to get mad at to hold back. But like, check it out. You have no idea how I went. I poured my heart into this. True. We just gotta start and no holds barred. This basically was just a conversation. I just yeah. want to know Charles and about what he's been going through as a YouTuber. And hopefully, you guys who's watching this video, you just do what you want to do and. Just what he said. Believe. Yeah, and um, I just want to say thank you to O'Neill. Yo, this was our first meetup. Honestly, it was our first meetup, and I'm like, yo, want to do a podcast? And I'm like, okay, sure. It's my first time, and it's such an amazing experience. Honestly, I feel like we're close. I feel like we're best, 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 best bud, buds. buds. What's up, bud? Yeah. yeah. We just <laughs> for real though, he messaged me like January, January. 2017. Yeah, and he and ditched me twice. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man. Peace. Champlain Park. I'm really sorry. <laughs> O'Neill, re- O'Neill on the real sorry. Oh. But damn, we're, we're doing it now. Doing the podcast. And hopefully more will come to this content. So. Yeah, just go, go subscribe to him. And we're going to end the podcast now. Well, I'll see you later. See you. Okay, so. Nice. Uh, oh, we're ending. Okay. Okay. Yo, so that's. Almost the last part of our podcast. So, thank you, Charles, for having us here in this uh, interview. No, no, no. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yo, O'Neill, you have no idea how this really inspired me to do... Ah, uh, That's the word for it. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so, thank you so much. And I do hope you enjoyed this podcast. And you, you may not know what's yet, but the yet is yet to come. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh! So, yeah. Good, yeah. So... Watch out for more of Charles being here in the, this podcast. For sure, it's going to be a regular guest here. So, yeah, because yeah. we live really near to each other. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, collab, collab. Collab, people. So, yeah, subscribe to Charles on. Yes. Like, Check his YouTube channel. I'm going to put down the links. Subscribe to my channel, O'Neill on Real on YouTube. And also follow Oom. Thank you guys for having us. Yes, um, I just want to say thank you, Oom of TV, for trusting us on being one of your creators. Thank you for lighting a fire in our hearts. What? <laughs> Just subscribe to Oomph TV, guys. Oomph yeah. TV. What's up? Soon, we'll be working with James Reed and Justin Adin. You're the Mr. Right? <laughs> okay, people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to forever. <laughs> Bye-bye.